can see friends. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Yesterday's Tomorrow. So happy you were able to join me today. Thank you so much for joining. If you don't see that red like button in the corner, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you are, thank you so much. And if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay, so I know you're watching. And also, if you are watching the replay, also let me know that you're new so I can welcome you to our page here. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a blessed day, everyone. Here in New Jersey, it's an overcast, cloudy day, but it's on the warm side, so it's not so bad. It's only in the 40s, so it could be worse. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Ruby. If you're here, please just give a comment that you're here um, so we can say hello to you. Remember, if you comment, hello, Linda Brown. If you do comment on my page, Facebook will now put you in, put me into your feed or any of the other creators that you watch. If you uh, make a comment on their page, they're more, Facebook, Mr. Facebook is more likely to, um, hello, Mary from Texas, is more likely to put you into their feed. So this way you always can, you don't have to worry about notifications all the time. Hello, Kay Dickerson. How are you today? All right, everybody. So today we're going to be using one of my favorites. And now I'm a retailer for, um... Roy Cycle Treasure. <laughs> Lost my mind there for a minute. I got so many things on my mind um, that I want to do today. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Ruth. Um, so Roy Cycle Treasures, I am a retailer from them. And down below should be my link tree. And it should uh, give you, it should um, be there. And you can find this pretty paper. Hello, Donna. And we have Hada from First Time. Yay. Everybody, welcome, Hada. Hada, if let me know if I'm mispronouncing your pretty name. Hi, Karen from Washington State. Ruby's here. Hello, Ruby. All right, so look at this pretty paper. This is Roy Cycle Treasures, decoupage papers. I am a retailer for, for her papers. Look how pretty. Let me, maybe I can do it this way better. It's hard to look at that, guys. Look at that hydrangea. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Hello, Wanda. Hello, Sue. If I'm missing anybody, I apologize. But what we're going to use today is we're going to use this, um, we're going to use the pretty birds with the nest. So these papers are big, they're 20 by 30. Hey, Debbie Short, how are you? Hello. Hello, Debbie. Um, so these are 20 by 30. So um, for the chances of you using this in one project, <laughs> unless you have a big frame, so you can use a lot of this in different, different, different projects. But I mean, look at this hydrangea when you do something. Right. Gorgeous. Hello, Audrian. How are you? And we got, and you're from Texas. We got Texas in the house. We got California in the house. Hello, Tarita. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome. Hello, Etta. How are you? All right. So let me show you what we're going to put this on. Now, this was a um, curbside treasure from my sister. My sister, Carrie, she's wonderful. She's always finding me. Things. She's, she calls me up. She sends me a picture. Kim, I found something. You think you can use it on a project? So, Carrie, thank you always for doing that for me. But she found this. Now, she knows that, you know, I'm not really primitive or, you know, um, like rustic in my decor. But she said, could you think you can make something out of this? And I said, I know I sure can. And we have people from Ohio. Hello, hello. Ohio and Massachusetts. We got Joni from Massachusetts. Oh, Joanne, I'm sorry. I pronounced your name wrong. So I know the paper's gorgeous. So guys, you can you can take something that looks primitive or farmhousey, and we are going to make it um, shabby chic. So I did paint this side because I wanted you to see exactly what it looked like because this is taking two coats. And for me to paint this, it took a while to get the two coats done and you don't want to see me painting. We want to go get to the fun stuff. Hello, Alexandriana. How are you from Florida? So anyway, so this is two coats of my favorite paint, Paint Couture in Arctic White, guys. Now this paint did, there must have been some tannins, tannins in the paint. So there's a little bit of bleeding through, I see, which, which means like uh, the tannin, tannins are coming out of it, which gives a little bit of a brownish tinge but that's okay, that's okay, um, because um, it'll make it more look, you know, I don't like anything to look brand new. So it's gonna make it look older. So I will paint this another day, but I wanted to get, I wanted to get the fun part of the project done for you. So this is two coats of the paint. All right, so my plan is, ladies, to use the bird and the bird's nest. Hey, Sue, oh, I'm glad you caught me live. I'm happy that you're here. Hello, Sherry. I know, isn't it cute? My sister, I tell you, Carrie, if you're on here, thank you so much for always doing this for me. 
She, her and my, her and my nephew, they're always finding stuff for me. Oh, I think, I think my, my nephew and Kimmy can do a project with that. So my sister wasn't sure. And I said, I sure can do a project with that. So we're going to put this on here now. I'm going to cut a little bit out of the, you know, cut some off um, that I think I'm not going to use. And I'm just seeing how I'm going to put this down here. Where am I? Where are we? Okay. Now I want to get, I want to get the big, where are we going here? All right. I want to get the big bird in there and most of the nest. So, hmm. So it's going to be about that much. We're going to be able to get in there. Now this has a, if you know, like, you know, a washboard is like this. Hello, Barbara Brewer. How are you? I'm so glad you made it live too. Yay. Um, so it has like this. So when you go, you don't want to cut out for exactly because you're going to be using extra paper because you know it's going to make, you know, in between the, um, you know, where you, you know, the, the great part is going to take off tapes extra paper if that makes sense so i'm going to cut this a lot bigger than i than i think it needs to be but i know this whole bottom part i'm not going to need so let's get that over there now while um let's see where are we okay so we're pretty much okay i'm going to cut it to where now i want to make sure i want to keep this beautiful hydrangea here this has lines on it how perfect is this this X because it looks like it's almost like it's on a piece of ledger paper um, that is printed on so it's got lines so how great is that that I'm going to be able to cut a perfectly great perfect line so look guys do you see what I mean it has the lines on there so boy that's great right for a project ah there you go you have a washboard too good yeah I don't know if this was a real washboard or not I I doubt it I think maybe it was because this is this is tin, so I'm not sure if this was real or not. It says busy bee on there, so <laughs> busy bee. So we'll see. I don't know. All right. So we're gonna put we're gonna put um oh, let's get there on there. So we're gonna start. We gotta have to start on one end, and let me cut some of this off too because we're not gonna need. I know we won't need all this here too so let me cut that off if you can cut the most a lot of it out of your way so it's less that you have to deal with we can use that for another project <gasps> hello angie how are you do you susan do you love the paper me too isn't it so pretty now i do like i said i am a retailer for um recycle treasures papers so they are on my website. You can find my website on my link tree. And if you can't find my link tree down below, just pop onto my Facebook page and it's on there. All right, so let's cut a little bit this out of the way too. I'm gonna have to cut that little birdie out there, but that's okay. Let's see. Now we don't wanna cut, I, I'm not cutting the paper this way because remember, in the little valleys and stuff, it's gonna take up some paper. So we're not sure how much. So we're gonna keep the length. It's just some of the width I'm gonna take away. Now remember, scraps are golden. You never know when you're gonna need this. You just don't know, so save it. Scraps are golden. All right, so let's get some decoupage medium on there. Now my decoupage medium of choice, of course, is Paint Couture Decoupage Medium and Shine. I purchased that on All Paint Products, which you can also find in my link tree, ladies. And gentlemen, if we have any gentlemen on here, you normally know, unless they're, um, I've had a couple on here trying to say some, you know, trying to have people respond to them. So guys, if you ever get that, just leave it alone. I saw for the last couple of lives, I had some men respond to some of you. Men, there is a man or man, who knows, responding to some of you. If you see that, just leave it alone because as soon as I see it, I block them and then that message disappears, okay? <laughs> Hi, Angie Champagne, how are you? So if you, all of a sudden you say, oh, somebody responded from yesterday's tomorrow's and it's, it's a male figure, and they're rating you this lengthy thing that, you know, they really need some company. And if, they, if you could be their friend. I don't know. I just found one. Was it today or yesterday? Again. And so I blocked him. So, and then, then what happens is anybody he responded to from my live, they, um, it's disappeared. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Thank you so much. Just get the hearts going. It's like it's 4th of July. And they'll think a party's going on. Oh, you do too? I'm telling you, there's those... Those, 
I don't know if they're men or I don't know who they are, but it's just a pain in the neck. So anyway, all right. I'm just mixing this up just to make sure it's all mixed. Block each one. I do, Angie. I'm blocking them. I'm a lot. I do. I block each one. Hi, Deborah. So, I, I forget. Was it the, was it to this morning or was it last night? There was somebody on my page and he was responding to not every, all, not all of you, but some of you. And I'm like, oh goodness gracious, yikes! All right, so let's start getting let's get this beautiful paper on. Now we're gonna start from the top because I want to make sure that I get the bird in there. Look how pretty, look at it. I think that's a robin. <gasps> Debbie, you, Debbie Hicks, you get a lot of them too? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You think they have uh, better things to do with their time than to um, annoy us, right? <laughs> why would they, why would they want to annoy us? All right, so we're going to start from here and I got to get them, I got to get the, we're going to do little by little. We're going to put it down into, now I gotta make sure that I get it into the nooks and crannies of the little valleys in this washboard. I hope my sister comes on. A lot of times she pops on and I'd like her to see that I am using this. She's the one that found me the pocketbook the other day, guys. I don't know if you saw, I was in an event on Sunday um, the all things thrifted and vintage and I recycled a purse and it made it a blooming purse. It came out so cute. And she found that for me too. So uh, I have to thank her for that. All right. So now we're going to put this down and I just want to, where's, where's the bird's head? I just want to make sure that the bird is in there. Okay. All right. So let's, so now I'm just taking my finger just like so. Let me get that down. All right, so there we go. I'm going to push it this way so you guys, you can see better. Hello, Dragonfly Diva Designs from Missouri. How are you? Thanks for coming on. So now I'm seeing in the corners right here that I'm not getting enough in there. So let me press this down. Now I'm seeing, let me, you know what? This is going to, let me cut a little bit more of this paper away. It'll lay a little flatter that I'm finding. Guys, I've never put decoupage paper on something with all these grates. So this is new for me too, so I'm learning as we go. But if we get this, some of this out of the way, it's gonna be easier, there we go. Yeah, there we go, it's easier, yep. All right, so let me get some more out of here while we're doing it. Get some more off of this side. Sorry, Mr. Bird, here on the side, I'm gonna have to cut you in half. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then just take your brush and get it all get, get it all down just like that it's almost like you know what this is like ladies this is almost like um now i can take now i know that this is i don't need any more of this on there so we're going to get this off this is almost like when i'm doing the weave of a basket i don't know if you ever saw me do the weave of a basket thank you mary this is roy cycle treasures papers they it is on my website um when i do the baskets this is to me, pretty much, you know, the same thing. You're just trying to get it in. There we go. See here, what, you, what I'm doing is I'm now pouncing it into the nooks and crannies of the, the valleys of the washboard. Just like that. See? Look how cute that's coming out. Can you see the, all the, the valleys and stuff? That looks really cute. So adorable. There we go. Now you want to do it a little at a time because if you put your decoupage medium all the way down there, it'd be dry before you can get to your next one. If that makes sense. Where are we now? Okay, so it did dry a little bit. So what I'm doing now, guys, give me some hearts if you can see what I'm doing. I just want to make sure that I'm in the view of the camera. Maybe, you know what? There we go. Now you can see better. You guys don't really need to see me. You need to see what I'm doing. There we go. And ladies, sometimes I do forget to put my camera all the way down. Just let me know. You, you wouldn't be, you're not offending me by saying, Kim, please put down the camera so I can see it better. Um, I, I, I would appreciate that. There we go. Thank you. I know, isn't it adorable? I, You know, and I've had this for a while. And actually I was gonna use it on the thrifted and vintage marathon that I was in on Sunday. It was a three-day event. 
Uh, but then I chose the purse instead. I hope you were able to catch that uh, marathon. That was a, that was um, that was fantastic. It was a three day event, and this was the first time that the host Tracy Campbell actually did a marketplace on the Friday before it began, and that was wonderful. That was really nice. All right, so there we go. Can you see that? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna just pull it up and let's see where we are. Okay, yep. There we go. And put some more down here. Now we're gonna have, now my thing is now to make sure I get it off the sides. There we go. Now put this down. And it goes in really easy into all these nooks and crannies. Very easy. Now I'm pushing it. There's a little space underneath in there. So I am pushing that in there. And I'm hoping that when it dries, I can just get a little... Um, like a little uh, scissor and get it out. And I think that'll work, but we'll see. All right, so who do we have here? And hello, Vivian, how are you? Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. There we go. So I'm just trying to, if I'm missing your comments, ladies, I apologize when I'm trying to concentrate. Sometimes I, I don't do not see them. If you do have a question, um, that you need answered and I don't answer it when it's in the comments because a lot of times Mr. FB does not show us every single comment. Um, just private message me and I will answer your comment. Um, so we had a, a fancy friend do it the other day um, because I did not see your comment and um, I'm totally fine with that. If you need a question answered, just private message me on my Yesterday's Tomorrow's page. There we go. All right. There we go. Can you see what I'm doing there? Look how cute that looks. Hey, Mary, how are you? How's your husband, Mary? He's been in our fancy friends' prayers and our prayer list. I hope he's doing. I hope he's um, doing better, Mary. He has been on our fancy friends' prayer list. There we go. Oh. Now I see a piece that wants to bubble. So let's get that down. We don't want bubbles. We want to be able to see. Now, one thing that's forgiving about decoupage, this, her decoupage paper, um, it's very forgiving. It's not like a tissue. If you did this on a tissue and you tried to lift it up, you weren't. there's no way you were going to lift it up. Um, see what's, let me show you what I'm doing right here. See, I can lift it up and I can put it right back down. If you did that with a piece of tissue paper, you would never be able to do it because it would rip. So... It's just easier. Now, I saw, and the reason why I did that, there was a bubble that would not come out. I lifted it up, got the air pocket out, and it's all done. There we go. Look how cute. Now, I wish I could got more of the, um, more of the nest in there, but that's okay. So, you're hanging in, you're waiting for surgery day. Okay, do you know when that's gonna be, Mary? Did they let you know yet? I know sometimes they don't let you know right away. Mary, let us know when that's going to be so um, I can make sure um, that the prayers are being sent out. You know what, when you're going for surgery, and I, I've had three surgeries so far and I'm nothing like Mary's husband, but the worst is waiting for the surgery day to arrive. So, oh, it's Friday, Mary. Okay, Mary, we will um, remember him on Friday, absolutely. The waiting is the worst. The waiting is the worst. It's the worst. I had um, two hip replacements. Um, I had breast cancer, so I had to have some surgery on that. And it's just the waiting. If you just want the day to be here, get it over with. <gasps> oh, that's okay. That's why we have replay. All right, so now I'm just trying to dry this and then we're gonna cut it all off. And then we're gonna put some stuff on the top right here. Yes, Mary, look, it's a washboard. 
There we go. Now, I didn't do this side only because I wanted to show everybody what it was. If I if I paint, I didn't want it, I wanted you to show see exactly what it looked like. So that's what it looked like before I painted it. So this was just two coats of white. You guys can use any color that's going to fit your um, fit your paper. All right. So now we're just trying to dry this so that when I take up, so I can cut all the excess off. Ah, oh, I'm glad, Mary. Yay. So everybody, if you're not a follower of my friend Mary, Ocean Breeze and me, please go follow her page. She's amazing and she's the sweetest ever. So please go follow my friend Mary from Ocean Breeze and me. I would so appreciate that. Thank you. And if anybody, if you have a business page, um, please come on in. First of all, come in on your business page name so we all can follow you and um, put your link in. If you've got a business link, put it in. This is, we are one big, happy, crafting family here, and we're all here to support each other and um, help each other out when, when, when we need. And um, right now, we have different creators going on um, Mary's page to help her out. And I'm hoping that I did put in for Mary um, for me to be on, but I haven't heard back from um, Cheryl yet. So I'm waiting to hear from Cheryl, Mary. I did put on I would go on your page, but haven't heard back yet. So I'll get in touch with I will get in touch with um, Cheryl and see if she's got me down for a day. And we have Gloria who just jumped on from I believe that's Minnesota. I think that is Minnesota. All right, I'm just trying to dry this, guys. There we go. But look at the grates. Doesn't that look pretty with the grates? I like the way that looks. Okay, it's getting dry. All right, so now let's just. Um, let me get my handy dandy little scissors. Actually, let me try uh, first. What I'm thinking about is a box cutter. I think this one, I think this is what it is. Is the box cutter right, guys? Right, box cutter. Yeah, you haven't. Yeah, I haven't heard from Cheryl either. So um, I have to, maybe I'll get in touch with her after this live is over, and find out um, what the list is. All right, so I'm doing this with the box cutter. And of course, my wonderful handy dandy scissors from the Dollar Tree, which I love, guys. Aren't these the best? And Teresa. Oh, you're never late to my pay. You are right on time. That's why we have replay. There we go. See now the box cutter? Look, it's just tearing it right off. Perfect, perfect. Now I'm also going to do give it a little bit of a sand down with the sanding, spo pay, sanding sponge, because I kind of want to distress it a little bit too. So we, I will be doing that. Let me just get this off of here. And then we're going to put something real cute here on the top. I got a cute little idea for that. Guys, these are the, I got the, you got a har Harbor Freight near you. If you do, go get these. These are by the registers always. And I think they're 60 cents or something crazy like that. But these are the sharpest things. All right, so there we got the top off. So now we're going to do the sides. Oh, she is Mary. Okay, thank you, Mary, for letting letting us know. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I haven't heard back from her. And then, you know, I got busy. And I haven't had a chance to um, get back in touch with her yet. So um, I saw Debbie today. Debbie did a great job. And um, then that's got what we started wondering. I'm like, oh, I haven't heard back from Cheryl yet. So I know I will. There we go. All right. So now I'm just tearing this. Whoop. It's like, so now remember, guys, this is supposed to be an old washboard. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I'm also going to um, sand it down. Well, you know what? I'm just tearing it a little bit. You know why? Because the paper's still a little wet in the corners right here. All right. So let me cut this off right here. Now, remember, keep your scraps. You might need them for something. I mean, you could use that for something. Scraps are golden, so I'm keeping that. All right, so now let's get this off the edge here. Oh, excuse me, let me turn it this way. And I'm sorry if I'm missing some of the comments. Oh, you're Stephanie, your son is a manager there. Love Harbor Freight. Love their um, staining pads. Those staining pads are fabulous. I think, I don't know, the last time I got them, they were like, well, I don't know, 
eight for two ninety nine. Now I know everything went up. They might be they might have went up by now, but their staining pads are wonderful. See this table I have right here? This work bench, work not bench, but a work table. This is from Harbor Freight. It was one of my favorite finds. It was on sale. It's got drawers. It's got shelves down here. Um, I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, and if you're a crafter, um, I would grab it. It's um, really, it's a really great uh, table. But I've had it for a while. I don't know if Harbor Freight would still have it. But I did get it from there. All right, so I'm just getting the paper off, guys, very gingerly, because it's still a little wet. When your paper's still a little wet, it might want to tear where you don't want it to tear. So I'm just, that's why I'm doing it very slowly. Okay, there we go. We're almost there, ladies. And then wait till you see how cute. <gasps> Stick with me. We're going to make this really cute on the top. There we go. This is the way to go with this thing, though. I don't know what else, how else I would have done it without this little thing. But like I said, these are by the front desk. It's like, you know, the supermarket where you have the candy and your kids, you know, when you're checking out the kids want to see the candy. Well, they have all these little things for you to purchase well, you, if you're standing there for too long. Look how cute. See? Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Now, let me just get on this side. Where did you get the paper? The paper is on my website. I am a retailer for Roy Cycle Treasures Papers. You can find it on my website. My website is www.yesterdaystomorrows.shop. You can find it on my website or down below. Guys, is my link tree down below? Sometimes it's on there, sometimes it's not. I don't know. It should be on my link tree, which is down below. Thank you for the hearts, ladies. You know what happens with the hearts. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Facebook thinks there's a party going on, and they'll get me into uh, the feed of some of our fancy friends that are not seeing the page. And also remember, too, guys, about the commenting. The only way for Facebook to think that you enjoy someone and not just me, there's plenty of creators I know who you ladies enjoy, um, to get to get into the, you know, for their, you know, for you, for them to come up into your feed of your Facebook page, you need to comment when they're doing a live. Because then Facebook thinks that you are very interested in what they have to offer and they will keep continually put you in their feed. Even if you watch the whole live, it's not the same as um, commenting. Listen, ladies, I'm with you. I, sometimes I just like to sit back and watch somebody create and just relax and watch them. It's so enjoyable. But come to find that Facebook doesn't think that I'm really, enjoy, not, I'm not really enjoying that too much because I'm not saying anything about it. So, it's not, so we all just found that out the other day. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you're not getting, you know, if you're following somebody and you're like, why all of a sudden they're not coming in my feed and everything, is that's because that's why. So look guys, isn't that so super duper cute? I love it. I wish my sister will come on. I want her to see this. She's the one. This was a, this was a, cur we, we call them curbside treasures. Ah, oh, thank you. Hi, Norma. It's, I know it's so pretty already. All right, so my thought was, all right, okay, let's um, let's just sand it down a little bit before I do anything up there. So let me get my handy dandy. Now, when I sand, do any kind, I I I do 120 grit, guys. I know some people are like, wow, that seems pretty low and rough, but I don't like to spend time you know, sanding and trying to rip, you know, get paper off from decoupaging. So I use a higher grit. Um, so now we're just, I'm just distressing it. Because otherwise, to me, you're there forever. There we go. So, so if you can see there, ah, see, I'm right there. So I'm starting just to distress it a little bit. You know, I don't like anything that looks um, brand new. And when it's Fully painted in a white color. To me, that looks brand new. There we go. See, it looks so much better. Um, it was a little distressing. Now, because this was two coats of paint, if I didn't have a thick, you know, a, a grit, like a 120, I would be here forever. My sister's gonna say, 
Oh, I want that. <laughs> when she sees it, I know it. Okay. <laughs> Let me just show you. There we go. See, it looks so much better. It looks better after it's been a little bit distressed. And then you can go back when you're done and if you think it needs a little bit more distressing here and there, you can go back and you can do that. All right, so let me get, hold on, let me make sure before I do anything else. Now, what I do need to get, and I have them, I just, they're downstairs. You know those tack cloths? And another, what you can find, you can find those at um, Harbor Freight. They're wonderful. Tack cloths. I don't know. You get six or eight of them in for a couple dollars. They are great for making sure, see all the dust on there? It makes you think of spring. Me too. I'm thinking of spring since it's been a dud of a winter here in New Jersey. We haven't had snow. The ski resorts are suffering. <laughs> let's get it. Get, let's get on with it. Let's get on with the spring. All right, so you want to make sure that you get all the sand and add, not sand, but the, the sawdust out of the way. So there we go. So it looks a little prettier. See like that all um, with the distressing. Okay, so, oh, guys, I'm sorry. Hold on. My glue gun. Hold on. I got to get the other one. Sorry, guys. Talk so much yourselves. I completely forgot to. Hold on. I got it right here. There we go. There we go. Okay, just give it a couple seconds and it'll it'll start. There we go. Okay, gotta get my glue gun ready. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to, to um, do, I'm gonna put a stamp on here. And where is my, where did I put my stamp? Where did I, where did I put my stamp? Guys, it couldn't run far. It's gotta be here. Where do I, did it, okay, you you ladies are good. Did you see my stamp? <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, and somebody will say, oh, it fell on the floor. Okay, where did my stamp go? <gasps> I had a stamp I was going to put on here. What did I do with it? Oh, my goodness. What the heck? What did I do with the stamp? Okay, so I have the ink here for it. And we're going to try a new ink today. But I had my stamp... And what did I do with my stamp? Maybe I put it in here. Oh, yeah, I did. I put it in my drawer. Okay, so let me show you the stamp. This is just by um, IOD, and I can't even, it's in French words. So I figured there's French, French, French writing in there. So I picked a stamp that had some French writing in it too. You can see, just like that. Now, I don't even know what it says, but it says something. And usually I use... Um, um, archival ink distressed inks today we're going to use a different one we're going to use now this is by um, it's an Italian brand and you can buy it on all paint products it's also a um, permanent ink so if I want to go ahead and put a top coat on this afterwards after I apply this I'm not going to have to worry about it smearing and this color that I'm using today is called afternoon tea and um, I'm thinking that it'll pick up all the browns in the nest, in her, in her wings, and and so on. But it's cool. And boy, I would, I wouldn't even begin to say Chararoscaro. I have no idea, right? But it's um, aging stamping art. And this one, the color is called Afternoon Tea. But I would never be able to say that word. But anyway. If you're interested, you can find this on all paint products where I get my paint couture paint from. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm thinking of putting this right there because then we're going to put something over here. So that's going to be perfect. All right, so let's stamp this. Now, stamping is great because the worst thing that you can do is when you put it on, you don't like it, you can paint over it. So it's perfect. Let's see. And hold on, let me just put you up a little bit there. Let's see. Uh, somebody said something about stamping and I missed it. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm missing that. All right, so let's stamp this. Let's see how it looks. But like I said, stamping, if you did it, you put it on by chance you moved it. Paint over it, you try it again. You love the spring DIY? Thank you. I do too. I do too. 
I just want to make sure it doesn't have any of that sand stuff on it, guys. Okay. All right, so let's stamp it. So it's not like when you put a transfer on. Oh, guys, maybe you can see. It's not like when you put a transfer on, like um, once you put it on, you know, if you've made a mistake, you can't take it off. Or, I mean, this would be really hard to take off. I'd have to re-sand it again. You know what I mean? When you stamp and it doesn't work out, guess what? It's no big whoops. You just paint over it if you don't like it. It's, it's very, stamping is forgiving. Now, I don't care if this looks totally perfect, that you can see every line, every word, because this is supposed to look old. And what happens when something looks old? It gets, it gets worn, you know what I'm saying? So um, I don't mind if this looks worn. Now, I just want to make sure I'm putting it up on the right way <laughs> so the words are right. Oh, could you imagine if I put it on upside down? But I guess it wouldn't matter anyway either, right? All right. So here we go, ladies. Now, once you, it's like a, a, um, a transfer. Once you stick, you must commit. Okay, so once you put it down, that's it. You can't move it. All right, so let's just press it down. And like I said, I'm not looking for perfect, so it, it doesn't matter if every piece, you know, gets printed on this. It doesn't really matter. Um, because it's supposed to look worn anyway, and I might go over it with the sanding patch or scuff it up a little bit anyway, so it's good. it'll be fine. Thank you. Hello. And oh, I hope I'm saying you, uh, Darche Designs. Am I saying that correct? I am. I apologize if I'm not. Thank you. Hello, Diane Greenway. Thanks for joining. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm really quick. I'm going to lift it up. And see how it's coming up. So if I had my hand, if I had my hand down like this and I lift up the one side, I can I can kind of take a look. Looks good to me. Ah, looks great. There we go. That looks great, and I love the color. It's called. See it, guys. That's a pretty color. It's called afternoon tea. I really like it. Afternoon tea. First time using it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right. So now I'm just gonna dry it, and then I'm just gonna scuff it up a little bit. And hello, Diana, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Sylvia. And thank you for the hearts, everybody. You guys are amazing. All right, so this looks great. Love the color. I'm now I'm a fan. First time using it. I just, um, I just got it the other day. Afternoon tea. Love the color of it. I was gonna do black, but I thought the black would be too harsh. Thanks. Hey, Betty. How are you? So I just want to dry it and then just I'm going to scuff it up a little bit. It looks too stark, like too, too brand new. Where did I get the stamp? Um, Sarah, it's an IOD stamp. You're in Pennsylvania. I create and repaint. I'm in New Jersey, up in Sussex County, which is not far from Pennsylvania. Where parts of Pennsylvania are you from? I'm sort of, I'm like 20 minutes before I can head into the Pocono area. Thank you, Marlene. Um, yeah, this is an IOD stamp. If anybody's interested in IOD stamps, um, my sweet, sweet friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy, she sells IOD stamps. I swear by my IOD stamps. Um, love them. Love them. I don't use any other stamps. So Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. Go on her web, her Facebook page and they're on her website. All right. So, um, let me just take a I'm taking a little bit. I don't want to use to scruff this up a 120 grit because I don't want the paint to come off. I kind of just want to scruff this up a little bit. So I'm just taking, I don't know. These are just like medium grit. Are you need, let's see. Slate, slate belt. You are close. I've never heard of that before. My, um, my dad, um, he's passed away now three years, but, um, he, and my stepmother still lives up there. Um, but so I just go up to the Pocono area and then that's it. So I don't know anything else that's up there. She, they're, they're near our Buck Hill Fall area. All right. So I'm just gonna, just gonna just get this down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. I see. I don't know if you could even notice, but I can notice here. It's just not as so if that makes sense. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do, now I'm taking, let's 
Spanish moss, guys. I got, this is one of my favorite mosses. I just got this from um, Walmart. It's their Spanish moss. It's really a great. I tried, I tried the Hobby Lobby one. I didn't like it. I didn't like the color, I should say. But this one is to preserve Spanish moss. It's really nice. Really, really nice. All right, so let's... Um, hold on. Well, let's get my glue gun here. And then what we're going to do is put some Spanish moss in the corner. Let me get my glue gun. Is it ready yet? Okay, so this is my idea, guys. Got some Spanish moss right here. We're going to put it in the corner right here, just like so. Let me pull this out a little bit more. Yeah, just like that. So it kind of matches sort of like the the feel of the um, the nest that they have going down here. And just so it gives some kind of a texture to it that everything's not just either decoupaged on, stamped on. You have something that's given like a 3D effect on there. So I thought the moss would be good. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now I'm just going to glue this on to whoop boy this thing's heavy right onto my thing right here okay there we go and we're just gonna glue it just like that look how cute that looks now my thought was maybe put some eggs in there but then i had a better idea all right let me glue a little bit this down here there we go Let's just put a little bit more glue. Oh, look at that. Look how cute that looks. And I love all the sprigs hanging out up there like that. Maybe I put a little, drag that over a little bit more to so that way. Okay. And we'll put a little glue right there. Get that to stick down there. Whoop, glue string. All right, so that looks, that looks cute. And then, but my thought was, whoop, glue string, glue string. Okay, let's get this down here. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so now I love these paper flowers from um, Hobby Lobby, guys. You've seen me use them before. Um, look at these little flowers. I'm just gonna put, a, instead of eggs, three little flowers in there, sort of, to be like, almost like an egg, but they're gonna be flowers instead, if, if that makes sense. All right, so we're gonna put a flower there. Um, Look how pretty they are. These are from Hobby Lobby and you can find them in your, uh, you can find them in the section where uh, it's paper crafts. Um, you can find them there. And let me see. Now they also have them in all the shades of pink. And let me see what else we got here. And no, that's too white. Um, Cause we want this, look, we want this vintagey looking, all right. So we have something to show you. So you have ones that are real, like darker, and then there's some glue strings, and some are a little bit um, not as dark. I don't think I want the really dark ones in there. But I like to put things in threes. I think threes look things look nicer when they're in threes, guys. So, yeah, perfect. There you go. All right, so let me glue those down. And those are going to look super duper cute. Now, of course, you know, after I'm done my project, who knows what else I'm going to do to this, but or sometimes I just leave it alone. But sometimes, you know, you look at something and you're like, oh, that might look nice that way too. But I just thought the flowers will look pretty. There we go. Put that there. Glue strings. Okay, let's see. Hello. Whoa. Hello, Linda. Hello, everybody. Thank you. And if you're new, for Thank you for popping on today. I appreciate you. But make sure you come and you follow. And the first time you're here, you are a fancy friend. Second time you show up, you are auto... The first time you're here, you're a newbie. <laughs> Second time you show up, you are automatically a fancy friend. So welcome, everybody. I appreciate you coming by. So, okay, so let me look. <gasps> look how cute. Isn't that adorable? Hello, Wendy. How are you? Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming on. It's now, okay, so let me show you. What I, you know what's great about not doing the back? I can show you before and after. <laughs> All right, everybody, if you're just tuning in, this is what it looked like before and through the magic of television. There we go. This is what we got. <gasps> oh, Roberta, I'm so glad that you caught me. 
Ah, Lori, I'm glad you liked it too. But so this is Recycled Treasures, uh, Recycled Treasures papers. I am a retailer for them. You can find them on my website. Um, the stamp is IOD. You can find that on my sweet friend uh, Mara's um, website, Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. She has them on there. <gasps> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you, Marlene. I will have a picture of this posted um, later on, and you can um, you can take a look at it. <gasps> Thank you. Now, everybody, I'm going to be on Pinterest TV tomorrow. Woohoo! Um, I believe the time is two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will be posting it tomorrow. So if you guys aren't doing anything in the afternoon, if you'd like to come on and support me, um, I feel so nice when my fancy friends can be there with me. <laughs> um, coming on Facebook is, you know, I know I'm going to be here with all my girlfriends, but when I go on Pinterest TV, it's a whole different ball game. So if you guys can be here with me, I would appreciate it. Hey, Jersey girl, Barb, how are you? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. So, yeah, so tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to come on live on um, my Facebook page, but I will be on Pinterest TV. So uh, look, for, look for a post later on today on my, on my um, Facebook page. I will put a link, so you it'll link you right back to Pinterest. And um, I think there's like a remind, then it'll pop up like a remind me button, and it'll remind you when I'm coming on. So, um, so that should be fun. How do you get to Pinterest TV? It's only on your mobile app, Marlene. If you have an app, you have the Pinterest um, Pinterest on your on your phone. You can oh, not you can't see it on the computer. You can only see it through. Um, I believe you can only see it through your your mobile app. I believe. And if you just go on your mobile app in the left hand corner, you'll see a little square with two little things coming out like that. You press that, and that's Pinterest TV. So I know a lot of people do not know about it, but I will post a link um, where if you hit the link, it'll take you right to Pinterest TV on your phone. So there we go. All right, everybody. So there it is. There's my project for today. So thank you so much, everybody. Um, we do have um, some prayers. Um, if you could um, remember to keep some of our fancy friends who need prayers in your prayers. I would so appreciate it. We have our friend Terry. You know our friend Terry. She's on here all the time. Um, her granddaughter really, really needs our prayers. So please, everybody, keep um, Terry, um, the granddaughter, in your prayers. I so appreciate it. She probably messaged me and asked if all you ladies can please keep her in your prayers. Um, um, and I know, I know you guys will. So uh, Terry, She's in our prayers. Um, also keep Mary, um, Ocean Breeze and me, keep her husband in your prayers. Like she said here, he goes for his surgery on Friday. So if we can get the prayers going, that every that his surgery is gonna go well and he's gonna be good as new, um, think I would appreciate that too. And also if you could just, um, God, God knows all of what all other fancy friends needs prayers. Keep all of our fancy friends' families in your prayers. Okay? Thank you so much. Uh, where did I get my board? Um, it was a curbside treasure. <laughs> my sister, Carrie. It was a curbside treasure. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So, curbside treasure. I don't know if it's real or not. This is metal. I don't know if it was a real one. I don't know. But anyway... That, this is what it looks like now. Oh, Debbie, you're going to see me tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, everybody, I know I can, I, I count on you for all your prayers, um, for all of our, um, fancy friends and their family members. Um, it means so much to me. It really, really does. So, and if any of you would, uh, if you have some prayers that you, um, you would like to, um, have our fancy friends know about private message me and I will absolutely let all of our all of our fancy friends, family know, and they will be in our prayers. Uh, where's the paper from, Karen? The paper is from my website. I'm a retailer for Roy Cycle Treasures. Down below in the link tree, uh, you hit my website. Um, open up my website, and you'll see Roy Cycle Treasures, and they are I carry them on there. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. Yes, prayers for everyone in need. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, but all your love and support means so much to me every day. And um, it doesn't go unnoticed. So um, I thank you every day. Um, if it wasn't for all of you here, there would be no Fancy Friends family. So thank you, everybody. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow on Pinterest TV. Bye, everyone. <laughs>